Um, my, uh, my part in this tonight, kind of wrapping it up, is the where of revival. Amen, amen. And uh, when we talk about revival, we're talking about how the Spirit of God is alive. And He created us. Yeah. And He has a desire to do things in our life. Amen. One, for us to know He is real. Yeah. And that He hears and answers prayer. Yeah. Now to me, there's nothing more real about revival than God answering prayer. Amen. Amen. And so tonight, we're really going to do the where. All right. <laughs> the where is, how about right here? Amen. Amen. And we're going to start with a request that uh, Sandra asked us to pray for her daughter. Uh, there's a Christine family situation. We can't sort it all out. We can't figure it all out. We just know it's not good. And so I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes. And in sim simple faith, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand with me. And I'm going to ask you to pray with me for Christine. And that situation in her life. Lord Jesus, we bring Christine before you right now. We ask you to touch her. That situation, that family situation. We ask you, Lord, to perform the miracle. We have a desperate need, Jesus. We ask you, because you told us, ask and you shall receive. Seek. And you shall find, knock, and the door shall be open. And so now we come to you, trusting you, asking you to work that situation out in Jesus' name. By your wisdom, we put it in your hands, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, I'm going to ask them, I have something else I'm going to do. But I'm going to ask those ladies just to sing that chorus. And when they sing it, a part of it says this. Lord, I want to be a witness. I want to be a testimony. That you can take what's wrong and make it right. And I want you to think about something right now. Maybe you know someone that things are just wrong in their life. There's a wrong situation. Somebody's sick. Maybe somebody's been done wrong. And there's somebody here that's been hurt. And I want you to think about that situation. And we're going to ask Jesus to take what's wrong and make it right. I got something else we're going to do. But right now, while they sing this, I'm just going to ask you to raise a hand in, uh, in communion with Jesus. And uh, ask Him to take what's wrong and make it right.
I feel the presence of Jesus. Amen. And there's one of the verses that says this. Lord, I see a world that's been wounded by the master of deceit. Groping in the darkness. Right? Remember what it says? I'm trying to find a way out of this. I'm trying to make it work. I'm trying to put the pieces together. I need you, Jesus. Because I can't work this miracle out on my own. I can't make it happen. I'm trying. I'm doing everything I know how to do. But I need you, Jesus. I'm going to ask him to sing that verse. And I'm just going to ask you, if you have enough faith, if you say, that's me, that's how I feel right now, that's where I'm at, I'm just going to ask you to stand and say, Lord, that's me, I need the miracle, and I can't do it. But I'm just going to ask you to stand, it doesn't matter who we are, we all need Jesus. Sing it. Lord, I see a world that's dying. They're wounded by the master of deceit. Hoping in the darkness, haunted by the years of past defeat. Jesus cares about this family. And I know you 